Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and today I'm going to be doing a video I've been wanting to do for quite some time now, but school and other things have just gotten in the way of that. So today I bring you my top three signage mod 12 themes. Now quickly, I just like to say that this list is completely subjective since these are my favorite themes for signage mod 12 and that they're not arranged in any particular order. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So first we have CyanOS by Victor Berjoa. Apologies for any mispronunciation. CyanOS features very dark colors contrasted by bright blues that I think look great together. The icons in the quick toggles panel and in the settings have also been slightly modified and I really like them. The entire theme just feels like a very nice clean theme with simple looks. Now CyanOS does have icon theming but I usually turn that portion of the theme off and I noticed here on the latest version the icon labels in the Google Now launcher don't play nicely with the white background but other than those anomalies the dark blacks and bright blues really make the phone this theme is a applied to look very sleek. Also, if you're using an AMOLED display, these blacks should look even darker, which I think is a bonus. Next up, we have Flatshade by Ya Design. Now, Flatshade's approach is to take material design and tweak it a bit to just look a little new again. So with Flatshade, we get some really neat looking wallpapers that pair very nicely with the themed icons. Speaking of icons, this is actually one of the only themes where I do keep the icons applied because their style is just very fresh. Aside from the icons, the theme sports a lot of white and color, which I do enjoy. So the settings looks amazing to me. We have some white cards that act as the background for each section of the settings, as well as some color for icons, which is something that I wished came to Android 5.0, but since it never did, this is the next best thing. The keyboard also looks great with its slightly blue gray hue and blue accents, and the smaller stuff like the status bar and nav bar icons look nice too. They have a minimal feel to them. Overall, Flatshade is a very nice remix of material design. Lastly, we have yet another theme by Victor Berjoa, that is Material Up. Now this theme is similar to the previous in that it uses Google's material design language as a springboard for its design, but rather than altering those elements, it attempts to flood your device with it as Google intended. So first off, my favorite thing about this theme are the colors. Now it's gone through a slight makeover since the last time I featured it in a video, but it still has that polished feel to it. The home screen wallpaper is one of my all time favorites and the app drawer icon matches the theme so well. Material Up features that card design in many places including the quick settings drawer where we see the signature pink and blue colors that complement each other so well. We'll see those cards and colors in the settings as well and it looks beautiful. While the shades of blue and pink have been toned down just a bit so that they're not so bright, I think they still look fantastic. Apps like Instagram, Google Plus, and Hangouts have all been altered in both color and design and look a bit more material. Even the Google Play Store has been edited, which recently caused some havoc on the internet. Just as with Flatshade, I really do like the simplicity of the status bar and nav bar icons. So overall, Material Up is a solid theme for those diehard material design lovers. Anyway, that's pretty much going to end the video. Those are my top 3 Science Mod 12 themes. Let me know what your favorite theme or themes are in the comment section down below. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe down there for more videos from me, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.